Islam. Yes. So, if you're not going to take no withdrawal these serious after that, I don't know what to tell you. Really don't know what to tell you. So that one was. All right. So what did Nobu Juali tell the Moors and the nations and everybody else who had an ear to hear? Because remember, a lot of Nobu Juali's literature that was saved is because it was in the newspaper. It's the only reason. If it wasn't in the newspaper, There'll be nothing. Because always keep in mind, there was infiltration from the beginning. They infiltrated the Morris Science Temple of America from the beginning. Right? A warning from the Prophet. For all governors and grand sheiks and head officials of all temples. Right? So this is for all the this is for those individuals that have a certain obligation. Right? That the people who really found out what the obligation was. They look at these people. Totally different. Okay? So remember, according to certain more, Noble Dwali didn't bring any law or whatever like that, right? So this is a warning from the Prophet for all governors and grand sheiks and head officials of all temples. With all temples, he's not just talking about more science temples, he's also talking about more holy temple and Canaanite temple, right? So get out of your mind, more science temple of America from the beginning, because Taj been putting it out there, more science temple of America can't be the foundation of this because that's late, very late, with regard to the work that Noble Dwali did from 1913. Mars Science Temple of America came around before he died, some months, a year, right? So that can't be the foundation of this. So anybody who's repping that, you already know that they're siding with the ones who took the bait. Because there's more Science Temple of America is like, Grand Sheet Nature El Bay in Ashbury Park that's running like a real temple is supposed to run. And and that's called Morris Science Temple of America. But all you hear is people bash that temple. When that's actually a good place to go to. If you want to know about Morris Science Temple and Noble Juali and the history, etc. Right? Because that's what they teach. But these individuals that have this position of power in in anything is a trustee. I don't care if they make more fiat than you or whatever. Their position is as a trustee. So these grand sheiks, grand governors, supreme grand sheiks, Supreme, whatever, moderator, all these individuals, all of them are trustees, right? Trustee, the person appointed or required by law to execute a trust, one in whom an estate interest or power is vested under an express or implied agreement to administer or exercise it for the benefit of or to the use of another called Sestiki Trust. In a strict sense, a trustee is one who holds the legal title to property for the benefit of another, 
While in a broad sense, the term is sometimes applied to anyone standing in a fiduciary or confidential relation to another, such as an agent, attorney, bailey, etc. Trustee is also used in a wide and perhaps inaccurate sense to denote that a person has the duty of carrying out a transaction in which he and another person are interested. In such manner, as will be most of the benefit of the latter, and not in such a way that he himself might be tempted for the sake of his personal advantage to neglect the interest of the other. In this sense, directors of companies are said to be trustees for the shareholders. So these individuals are appointed, right, to, oh, or required by law, right, not by something they make up, and then tell you that that's what Noble Drew Ali brought. Right? To execute a trust, one in whom an estate interest or power is vested. So, a, a, a estate interest and a power is invested and vested in those seats called Grand Sheep, Grand Governor, or whatever. Right? So, this is what Noble Drew Ali said to them. Renew your acts, amend your ways, because the great conference is on its way. And in it, where law will be enforced before the great grand body. How many of these grand bodies right now use great in front of their grand body, whatever they say that they are? Because Noble Draw Lee right here, this says great grand body. This. Just something to observe. When you read Noble Drew Ali said, and then you hear all people talk, you know exactly what's going on. Because this is Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Not pumping up Prophet because of title and other people had it. And no, because when you read what he laid down for Moors, which is the nations, you know, the brother in Montreal. European recognizing that this is the this is the North Gate and if he's here then he might as well show allegiance to the people whose land this is logically so yeah he's my brother because he's a son too and anybody who's down with him and for the resurrecting of the Moorish nation The continuance of the present officers in the temple will depend on your past good work. Those who have been delinquent may now know that they will not be toler that that they will not be tolerated any longer. Those who have been delinquent may now know that they not not the acts that they did. They will not be tolerated any longer. And then you can see why people took them out of the way. Because certain stuff that they were doing wasn't going to be tolerated anymore. Because this great divine and national movement must move on according to law. These things shall be proclaimed. Key point. There is no favorite in any of the temples. I thought all these people are saying that they're the number one and this guy's the number one over here and those guys are the number one over there. Just an observation of what, according to what Nobu Ali put down. There is no favorite in any of the temples. For the law is laid down and everyone who claims a part of the work must be governed accordingly. All are one. All are one. If all are one, then how come people are talking about there's disunity in the Moorish movement? Obviously, they're not part of it. They're on the outside. And they don't know what the hell they're talking about. I come to speak to all nations. For all those people who try to make people think that Moorish Science Temple of America owns Noble Drew Ali. 
and that you have to go to them to get a charter because if you don't go to them then you can't be a real more science temple of america because you need a charter with a seal that looks like this and like this well those guys have a seal that looks like this and this and they've been doing more work than you've been doing in the past 80 years so why am i going to jump on your bandwagon for to do what continue to stagnate this when this is people's birthright that they could stop paying taxes tomorrow that's a little bit of fiat that you save, right? That we claim that, you know, we don't have no money to do stuff, but, you know, we're the billion dollar spenders, right? And then you can still go get your stuff, but at least you'll be able to save something because you're not paying no tax because you're indigenous to this land as a Moor, not as a black Moor, not like as a, as a Moorish sage of sovereignty, none of that. Moorish American. Because that's what Nobu Ali laid down. He laid down Moorish American. People can make up whatever they want. That's their little club that they belong to. They can call it a nation all they want. Nation Islam calls themselves a nation and they're not in a nation. They're a group of people in an organization. That's not a nation. That's a group of people in an organization. I don't care if they call themselves a nation. There's a lot more. <laughs> you missed the fireworks. What do you want? No, I got you were down, there? down there. Oh yeah, you're caught up. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't even get yeah. up. Don't worry. When you see the playback. <laughs> <laughs> right. All are one. There is but one temple in this nation. There is but one temple in this nation. And there is but one prophet of the temples. I come to speak to all nations. Bringing them a message of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. In the head of every temple, if anyone has violated these divine laws, it will mean his discontinuance. For no man is to be under the influence of intoxicating liquors or to seek to tear up families while under the influence of evil motive. Nor must he speak anything that will prejudice the minds of the public against the divine movement. If any of the laws are violated, Anybody, Grand Sheik or Sheiks, can file charge against the violation to the Grand Body over which the Prophet presides. This power is vested in seven or more Sheiks for the protection of your temple and the Divine Movement. Right? So Nobu Jwali told the Moors what the law was, right? And the Moors, who were the trustees, were supposed to tell you, and they didn't tell you anything. That's why you're still, and we're still suffering right now, right? That's why. That's why when people hear Nobu Duali for the first time, they don't, who is this guy? I never heard about this guy before. I've been studying for years and years and years. 2014, there's still people who don't know about Nobu Jwali. There's billions of people out there know Michael Jackson and Michael Jordan and whoever. So I think it also uh, shows the level of uh, infiltration. How deep it is. Right? And, and this is just all stuff that Nobu Jwali had in the newspaper. Just anybody who wants to read something, you could read this and, you know, make a decision as to what you want to do. Because he pretty much told everybody that you have no options. Either you're going to be if so or more subject, because he was talking to the nation, so all this stuff that we're talking about applies to everybody else, right? It applies to everybody, okay? Our divine and national movements movement stands for the specific grand principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And I, the prophet, and applying to all loyal, faithful Moors, members, and American citizens to help me in my great uplifting acts of uplifting fallen humanity among the Asiatic race and nation. For I have suffered much and severely in the past through misunderstanding of what the movement was dedicated to 
It is the great God Allah alone that guides the destiny of this Moorish, of this divine and national movement. I know all true American citizens are identified by national descent names to answer and apply to the free national constitution of this free national republic of the United States of America. That's why I am calling on all true national citizens to help me morally and financially in my great work I am doing to help this national government. For without a free national name, right, without a free national name, like telling, telling you, right, telling you, okay, not, you don't have to guess about anything. You got everything. Without a free national name, without a descent flag of your forefathers, there is not a national divine title of the government in which we live. This is from your true and divine prophet unto all American and foreign sympathizers. Right? This is from your, this is from your, not those guys over there who say that they rep Noble Juali. Your. This is what they're supposed to put put out to the people, right? No, no Moorish papers right now. There should be a Moorish paper, right? There should be a Moorish paper. Every single Moorish Science Temple of America should have a, a newspaper. Every single one. Not just because right now, from since 1913 to now, they should have had paper. And they didn't. They don't. Newspaper. Oh. You know, it's interesting because right. I was seeing another one of these lectures and realizing that it's public it's publication. Yeah. That is key. Right. To anything. Whatever. Publication. Right? Publication. Whether it's in our paper or in their paper, but we know they're not going to publish our stuff in their paper. Well, they'll publish it, but they don't want your arm and your leg and well, you see your, yeah, yeah. your ankle. Yeah. But, but that is, in terms of verification and notification, it's being in public. It's, it's about publishing, it's, it's about publication. Yeah. And remember, Garvey had a newspaper. Bruce Muhammad Ali had a newspaper. Um, all these organizations, even today, Sri Lankan people, they got a newspaper. Chinese people, they got their newspaper, right? Or like um, general laws as said by the prophet every temple and head is to function by words deeds and actions imitating the prophet especially when teaching a group of moors any group of moors these are the general laws <laughs> let you know these are the general laws the supreme laws will be handed to you tomorrow night. So, just so you know that there are supreme laws that were given to them that were supposed to be given to you. And they're saying that they want to run things still. When they didn't give you the basic stuff that was in the newspaper, which were the general laws, remember this is the newspaper. Because this was the Morris newspaper. But, you know, if American and foreign sympathizers see it, and they read it, and it makes sense to them, like, hold on a second. You mean there's this history about the Moors here, and they had governments here before? Why not be done with that? Right? So these are the general laws. The Supreme Council will be chosen tomorrow, consisting of seven men tried and true, accepted by you, according to their words, works, and deeds. Accepted by you. Right. Accepted by you. The Supreme Council will be sell, will be will be truly truly established in its proper position when the Moors are the ones who select their leadership. Right? 
because this is ours. This is for us to govern ourselves. But there's a bigger perspective, which is the nation. And that nation would include other nations. And we are the nation within the nation. The Moors in America, who are classified as Negro, Black, Colored, Ethiopian, mm -hmm. and found out about their nationality and birthright, and adopt that as the practice of their ancient foremothers and forefathers in this day and time. Adopt what? This. More science. Yeah, yeah. Right? About they are the ones that are the nation, within the nation. Because the perspective that people have is that more science temple of America isn't government. It can't be a government because it's an organization. Yeah, that part. But there was there was more stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Right? There wasn't just more science temple going on during the time of Nobu Dwali. There was more manufacturing. Those people have more jobs. That's why Nobu Dwali say stop showing your card to Europeans. Because we have our own stuff over here. We share show our cards amongst ourselves. Because we're a, we're a nation. We're a nation of people that are living under subjugation. We're not gonna topple the people who subjug who subjugating us. We're not gonna topple the people who are occupying us. But we could form a nation within that fraud. Well, more importantly, right? I think the result of us becoming our own nation will definitely have a severe effect on their... Which it did. Since 1929. It's had that effect. Yeah. And still having that effect today. Yeah. Right? That's the impact of what the impact of what Nobu did in 1928, yeah. going to the Pan American Conference, yeah. is still impacting them today, 2014. 100. Well, percent We haven't picked up the. We didn't pick up. We didn't pick up his. We didn't pick up his energies. This is what we were talking about earlier. The trustees were appointed. Since 1913 to 1929, him knowing that he was coming out, right? Him knowing that that he's gonna go to Soul Plane to do the work because he's not wasting no time on Earth Plane, right? Whatever is done got done. That was supposed to get done. Okay, it's time to be out here, right? His involvement in everything that we're seeing going on today, black president and all that type of stuff, right? That, that's all directly related because of him. Yeah. Because those things that he prophesied is going to happen. So if I cannot teach you here, I will teach you on the soul plane. And he could not teach us here. So we're talking about Professor Drew, the Egyptian addict. We're talking about somebody who studied all the arts and all the sciences. If I tell you everything, your brain will turn to water. That's because if man walk up to you and disappear, you'll probably pass out. That you just shaking hands with or whatever. P people would somebody do something and it it would it would shock your system, mm -hmm. right? Well, he never came to show all that. He came to get us out of mental slavery that we had. And the people who were the trustees, the people who he who he said, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna to right. Which was every single grand sheep, grand governor, grand whatever, whoever is the head of a temple at that time, they had an obligation to go out there and 
do greater works than he did. Yeah, when I get the well, not that I get the impression, but I mean, obviously there were agents within those or people who were not looking to have this movement go there even at that time. At that time. He couldn't have expected all of that to happen. Well, you know what I'm saying, just in the sense that if he's got ten of he's got ten of the grand chiefs there, four of them are are looking to cause trouble. That stuff's not going to get out there, right? Right. But I mean, you know, he did he did put it out there for the Moors, yeah. you know, that what are all these Moors doing here? There's only going to be a handful of saves. And I could, the ones left over, I count them on my fingers. So that means that everybody is selling. Right? Everybody dropped the ball. Right? Like everybody dropped the ball. Because there's no way all these different organizations are where they are right now. And... Everybody knows about all of them, and nobody knows about Morris Science Temple, Noble Draw Lee. They, they never even heard of Morris Divine and National Movement. They never even heard of Old Canaanite Temple. They never even heard of Morris Holy Temple of Science. They never even heard of Clock of Destiny, CMB. But they know all this other stuff that's supposed to be for their salvation. Right? I remember we're still on the general laws that you put in a newspaper for everybody. <laughs> right? The head of all temples are to give an account once a month of all finances into the grand what, body. What, what's this under? Is this under administrative things? No, this is um the um, Morris literature. So you're reading yeah, And the grand sheik, grand sheikist governor, and grand governor of any said temple are to work hand in hand and to intercede that the prophet is the law. They are to know they are part of the law and must obey. Nobody well, didn't teach law, but all he's talking about is law in it. The heads of all temples are to by force refrain from all wrath words, profanity in the mildest form from his members. They must live the, the life of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, and refrain from all alcoholic liquors or any other harmful things that will terminate to destroy peace or any of the divine principles. They are not to contribute to anything that will cause the public to disagree with he or she. And for, for one to lead a group of Moors, one must keep your house clean, clean with good deeds. Kind words your wives, brothers, hear, must hear good words, kind words and must know of your good deeds. If there are children, you must see their support. Follow this divine principle, for if you don't restrict this divine principle, then you are not a true moor. And the heads are to not charge for membership, or to overcharge for cards, buttons, or anything issued by the prophet. Those who contribute to either of the proceeding are not moors but robbers. Tell them people. Right? And we're not talking about, you know, 30 bucks to get the nationalization process or whatever. We're talking about, like three grand we're talking about those three grand ones, 1500 ones. Mm -hmm. Right? Because a servant is worthy of his hire if you're going to call them to do something. Mm -hmm. No matter what their price is. Mm -hmm. But, you know, 3Gs and all that, that's not, that's not Noble Drawley. Yeah. That's not Morris Divine National Movement. That's not even, that's not even Lodges. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Right? Membership, sisters and brothers, is free. Anybody just glance something, hear something, oh, no, we'll draw oh, let me go to more science temple. They're supposed to walk, go in there. Mm -hmm. oh, but, then, but then there's no temples. I'm getting calls to people in Memphis and all over the world. Well, there's no, the more is in, in the UK. 
ask me, yo, you heard about Morris Science Temple in the UK? I'm like, <laughs> there should be one though. And if there isn't one, better hit up those trustees. Find out why they haven't been doing their job and getting this word out to the people. So we're blaming the European. Right? Because not only here, but all over the world. So if he's talking about membership to the Morris Science Temple, right? Keep it simple. There's this place called Morris Science Temple Organization, whatever. This man founded Noble Duality, right? And you can be a member of that. And he's saying membership brothers and sisters is free but not just here all over the world yeah. doesn't that mean he has something established there if he's telling you that all over the world this exists for free and and and, and what is and what is that Moorish birthright So my impression is that there obviously will be temples all over the world, so there should be, right? And going back to the same thing, that he's making the statement that all over the world, membership is free. Is he talking membership of a temple? Or belonging? Right? Is he talking about somebody having a card saying they are a member of the Morris Science Temple of America? Or is he speaking on something broader? Than, than, than just what the apparent is. Member. One of the persons constituting a family, a partnership, association, corporation, guild, etc. One of the persons constituting a court, hmm. especially, oh no, a legislative assembly. One of the persons constituting a court, a legislative assembly. Hmm. Isn't that, that government? Yeah. Okay. No draw, he didn't teach government though. And when he said members, he was talking about members of the Morris Science Temple. And then everybody followed these guys. Yeah, come on, be a member, be a member. And they never look up member to know that we're talking about family. Hmm. When he said member. Members in English law, places where a custom house has been kept of old time with officers or deputies in attendance, and they are lawful places of exportation or importation. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right? Membership corporation. Hmm. One organized for the purposes other than pecuniary gain. To a to a degree, but not really. <laughs> right? That's exactly like his ass. He said to a degree. No. Pecuniary, monetar monetary, relating to money, financial, consisting of money or that which can be valued in money, as to pecuniary consideration, damages, and legacy. Pecuniary, and then it goes into different pecuniary, right? So... There's no, there's no monetary gain 
because Morris Science Temple qualifies under a membership corporation. So that's what it was set up, registered, whatever as, right? Brooks County and all that, back of the 101, Morris adopted the corporate name and all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this falls under membership corporation. Okay. All right, so that's one perspective of what this is. Yeah. Right, and then members, that's English law, so okay. I mean, yeah, whatever. Right, and then member, one of the persons constituting a family, a partnership, association, corporation, guild, etc. So just breaking down membership corporation even further. Right? Families are nations. Yeah. All right. So when he's talking about membership, yeah. he's talking about belonging to a nation. Yeah. And not that you have to go and get some card that says you are a more yeah, Science sorry, Temple sorry. of America member. That's the lowest level of membership. Yeah. Basically saying that you can exercise your rights and speak your rights without having the card, tangible card that they want to see. Because, more because it's all about knowledge of self. Mm -hmm. I self law and master. Why? Because I study and that's why I self law and master. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, I self law master peace Islam, but I self law master because I study. Excuse me, right? We're still dealing with the general law, though. The button is twenty five cents. Card twenty five cents, <laughs> <laughs> and one month's dues paid. Every member pays 50 cents a month for dues. This money goes toward the support of the temple. This, if not paid, does not entitle you to the protection that is provided for you. Hmm. Same thing that we talk about. What? Right? That if you're not paying your dues, yeah. don't look for any benefits. But we don't got any for you. And if you want to go out there and study as an individual and pretend that you can be sovereign as an individual, go right ahead. But I suggest getting down with the family. The members. The members. Hmm. Right? Put it right there, basically. Because remember, everybody becomes a trustee once these guys that have this tell the people. That this is your Moorish movement and you're supposed to, and then, oh, yeah, this is mine. Wow, okay, well, I'm going to take this juice and I'm going to share it with my, you, know, you get some, you get some. And then that, those people say, oh, yeah, this is mine. Okay, well, I'm going to. You say everyone can remember to the trustee. Huh? Because they have an obligation to go tell the, the other person. Right. Right. The obligation to do that. And basically, the being trustee of the estate. Huh. That's everybody's. Yeah. Once they live by the guidelines of the you know, follow and certain naturalized. right and, or naturalized if you're a foreigner. Hmm. That's right. basically us reclaiming our Yeah, our, re uh, our reclaiming our, our, everything. our state. Everything. Everything. Because it doesn't have to be done through the Morris Science Temple of America. That's slavery. This no, is birthright. Well, yeah, what you're like saying it's is not the Morris Science Temple is basically just the, you can even say it's the The, the, way, arm the way in, yeah. Well, it's the teaching arm of things. Where you go to get it. You can, as you say, you can, you can get on this knowledge by yourself and then still come in. If you can learn, you can go and do some research, let's say by yourself, right. and then come in Gradually type of thing? No, no, and then come in, like you can get on some of your information on your own and then come in and join the nation, right? Logically. Because yeah. we had nothing prior to this. So why wouldn't you get down with this? Regardless of what somebody says, oh yeah, well those guys are stealing houses and you know, you don't want to go to follow them because you know, they're... But this is birthright. What stealing houses got to do when I have the general laws right here? Nobody, nobody draw, you never said nothing about it. 
doing none of that stuff. What do you mean by that? Like that's not in that's not in the literature. Go claim property. Mm. Not that not that it can't be done and it shouldn't be done and that there isn't a way to do it. Yeah. But we got to get our priorities not, in order. Not that's not part of not that that's not part of the eventual eventual process. No, but only today. Because if more, if these trustees did what they're supposed to do, we wouldn't be our, here. We have we, our own <laughs> no, there wouldn't be no Europeans here. Yeah, yeah. We'd be having fake snow and all this type of stuff, <laughs> right? Like it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't exist. Yeah, we, we have, we have right? Because we already had everything. Don't forget, everything was set up already. There was all the manufacturing companies and all that already. Yeah, newspaper. Going all across the country. Yeah, yeah. Basically, what they've done is what in the, uh, the rewriting of history. What they did is they came in, destroyed stuff, and then created their own story, right? Right. I, met, I know this one sister that tells me of some of her uncles back in Greece. This sister, she's actually Caucasian, European, whatever, but she told. She's pro more. I don't want to say pro black. You know? yeah. She's pro more the same way. She was having a discussion with her uncle about um, history and our contribution to history and whatnot. And her uncle was saying that you know the Africans never built anything, they never did anything. And she was like, "Yes, they did. Of course they did." And, she, and his remark to that was, "They never documented it." <laughs> yeah. She told me this blatantly, right? Yeah. And I was like, "You guys are kidding me, man. That's what." That's the conversation that the elders are yeah. telling the youths, you yeah, know, yeah. like they never documented it, but right. of course they documented it. You know where the documents are? In their museum. Yeah. <laughs> the whole wall. <laughs> Always. The whole wall. Right? Always. Because come back to the same thing with the trustees. Because if they got that up in a museum, right? If, if, if a European has a European, has a, a museum with so-called African whatever artifacts. How come there's not an African museum with that stuff? With African artifacts. With African artifacts. Well, right. You know now, what? In, the, now, in their defense, there is actually. Yeah, that they they would have one or some or whatever. But on the level of okay, now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> right. On, on the level, it's on not the on level, the level it should be on. It, everywhere, as far as Asiatics are concerned. Yeah. To my understanding, right. one of the big museums that they talk about that has a lot of our history and there's a museum in Ethiopia, um, Museum of Menelik, I believe it was. Sure. They did a museum for him and that has quite a bit of information yeah. in it. But again, I don't feel, I haven't been there myself, but my my gut just tells me that it doesn't have everything. Yeah. It has a great degree coming from one angle. Right. So what I realized when I was listening to one of these uh, CDs over here, and he's talking about the fact that basically they've got them, well, not that they, they created this corporate state. They can't come back around now and talk nationality. Because once they do, everyone has to put their nationality on, on the table. On the table. Right. Once that happens, they're done. <laughs> yeah. Right? So they've got to they've got to keep this game going. The corporate game. This corporate yeah. game. Right. Anyways, I want to read these three little things yeah. that I've been doing. So one of them is, oh, hold on. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. I'm going to lead some of you in wars all the way up to salvation, and you're going to turn around and go the other way. Yeah. That was the first one. Right. Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, here's, here's the other one. This is uh, Brother I, I Cook Bay said that the whole prophet said, I am a general as well as a prophet. I was Muhammad. Muhammad defeated the Roman Empire. When I conquered Rome, he went in with the sword. You could hear the sword swing. I, I cut the head off Rome. I cut the head of Rome off, pulled down the flags, sent letters to the other European governments, and asked them, was I right? And they said, yes, Mohammed, you are right. Just let us have a place to live. Yeah. Right? So this is all, I mean, you realize that this, this, his activity has been throughout time. Right. He, he, he came, this is the gar that was the garb that he wore now a, yeah, for right, us right. To, to connect with us now. Exactly. But he was Muhammad, he was Moses, right. he was Noah, uh, he was right. all these guys. Uh, right. Right. So he was an energy form. Right. 
Right? Exactly. You said it. You said it that never that's died. why that's why it belongs to everybody. That's right. Right? And basically came in this form now because we were the ones who needed it the most. Right. Right? Right. And then only oh, because, the last one I thought was important yeah. for what the, and hold that thought. I'm going to wake up I'm not going to wake up all the Asiatics at once because they may tear something up. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was important too. That's the one I was first looking for when I found this all and what's interesting is all on that one page, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But that yeah. I think is where some of this I realize is because I think that we're all at different levels. Yeah. And if you believe that even our energy forms are stuff that has right. is, that is regenerated. Right, right. Right? This man may have been, you know, the general back in mm -hmm. In Muhammad's yeah. army, yeah. you may have been, you know, um, a politician or something, or or a president, right? We're at different levels, yeah. right? We can't wake all of them up because some of us weren't at that level, right? right? So it would be like sort of having too many cooks in the kitchen, right? <laughs> we need the chef too. <laughs> so there you go. So, no, but I'm saying that, that that that's probably where some of this is at. And I start to think about this on that level. If we're now back again, because remember, he made the statement in 1913, 50 years later, 50 years later, what did he say? 50 years later, you may have. 50 years of passing, you didn't know that I would have been here. And then if you give another 50 years, I thought there was something know. about. Yes, 50, it should be in there. I can't yeah. remember exactly. Yeah, but something about. I don't, I don't want to misquote it. Yeah, I don't want to go there but, too, but, yeah. but the long term, you know, what I'm saying is that we're exactly the 100 years right. that he was talking right, about right, right. from 19 That you would figure out what was up. Right? See, we're, yeah. We're exactly. Right. We're 100, we're, we're exactly 101 years. years well, in. No, we're one year in. Yeah, we're one year well, in. Well, we're starting one, you know, because yeah, you say yeah, 1913, you don't know exactly when that statement right, was right, made. Right, right, right. We can actually right. say that stuff. We could be at the cusp of it. No, no, but or, we could say this. This is only February 2014. Right. We could look back six months ago and say that some stuff has been going on yeah, too, yeah, which is yeah. right around the time, the time. right? If right. you think about it, because I've been in this two years, so yeah. not, uh, 2013 was a fairly active year, right, right? Right. So, but what my feeling is, is if we are some of these, like when we looked in the 20, 1928 uh, convention picture, we saw the, our man in the corner there, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. So what if we're those soldiers coming back? <laughs> Yeah. Right, and we're slowly being woken up. You're on a different yeah. level. That's yeah. exactly what it is, right? Yeah. And that's exactly what this yeah. is. What comes to the conclusion. You are, exactly you, you, you are, you are, you are like Han in a sense. That you are further along. You can connect it a little bit more. Yeah. Some of us are a little less. A little Some less. of us are actually even the enemy. Yeah. yeah. Right. The enemy that was there right, too. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Yeah. Some of us never even made it. Right. Some of us need a lot more help. Right. Yeah. So. Anyways, I think that's what, I think that you were making some comment about all over the world and all that kind yeah, of stuff. So. Yeah, all applies. This money goes toward the support of the temple. This, if not paid, does not entitle you to the protection that is provided for you. And especially if you are not working or in a position to work. If you neglect to fulfill this yeah, no, small duty... This, if not paid, does not entitle you to no, the protection okay, that yeah. is provided for you. And especially if you are not working or in the position to work. See, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get that point of what she's trying to say. This, to these dues, right. if not paid, does not entitle you to the protection no, that is provided for you. Because yeah. all of it's relative. So he, right? Yeah, I was trying to say that what he's trying to say is that if you're not right. working, you can't work. That doesn't mean... That doesn't mean that you don't pay your dues. Because you don't have to work uh, and get dues and pay it with you, mean you don't have to work to get money to then to pay, pay the dues. The dues can be paid in other ways. Or because we had our own businesses. Right. We had our own manufacturing companies, shipping and it's whatever else. That, that we I had. start to think that the dues to me don't really have anything to do with the PR. Fifty cents dues? What's what Back then, that might have bought well, you. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, you're talking you silver, <laughs> you know? You're talking <laughs> oh, yeah. silver. True, true. Yeah, no yeah. fiat back then, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That's a 50 but, cent but, piece. but for somebody to put 50 cents, right? You know, the, their level of where they are mm -hmm. socially has to be up there. Up there. Right? Right? 
If you neglect to fulfill this small duty assigned to you, how can you rightfully expect money or other help when you are sick or otherwise disabled? I mean, he's talking about the energy connections. It's reciprocal. You put like something in the pot, yeah. and you're going to get something. So what's interesting it, it might not be what you put in. No, but it might, but, right? but it might be you, something that you need so desperately say, say, that has nothing to do with what you put in. It's supposed to be in line with right? the pot. Exactly. You see, what I realized, though, and this is where I think this system that the so called slaves who have come in, the Europeans coming down to run this, so, so called screwing up the show now, this is where this whole breakdown has happened. Because they ain't putting anything back in the pot. Right. Right? It would be one thing to say, okay, these guys, you know, they're running. Uh, reciprocal government. Yeah. They're not. This is a criminal endeavor that they're right. involved in. And exactly. All they're involved in doing is ripping us off. Yeah. Right? And the people off. Right. So therefore that circle is not being is not happening. And to be a real Moorish leader, you must study the Quran and the divine constitution that is handed down unto you by I the Prophet. The head of any temple can maintain an emergency fund which cannot exceed the amount of 25 cents to 50 cents per week per member. All public collections, the, the head of any temple can maintain an emergency fund which cannot exceed the amount of from 25 cents to 50 cents per week per member. That is a very and realistic expectation. He said that he can give 50 cents? Yeah. 50, 25 up, up cents to 50, 50 cents. cents. Up to 50 cents. Per week? Per week. To so a person who's Remember. No, he put it in the emergency fund. He's asking people to do that? That, that they can do that. They have the freedom to do that. The head of the temple can have an emergency fund. And that's that's expecting some of the people in the temple. Sorry, we're going to get. Expecting some of the people in the temple. To contribute. contribute. To contribute to it. Contribute. But, 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 you know, only up to 50 cents. Oh, he's putting a cap on it. Yeah, because that individual is the one that has the power to create that thing called the emergency fund. That's not something that Nobu Ali laid down. That's something that the individual member can do if they see fit to do that. But he's putting a cap on it. Why is he putting a cap on it? <laughs> right? Unless there was already stuff going on and he had to put a cap on it. Why else would you tell, tell somebody, yeah, you get, there's an emergency fund right here, but, you know, don't give more than 50 cents. He's not talking to... Remember, this is the general laws for everybody to have. If a head of any temple can maintain an emergency fund, right? So he's allowed to do that. But so what I'm realizing is that what he's doing was he's protecting the people. He's protecting people because obviously people are trying to use that fiat to mess with some stuff. Jealous of his fame and nobility. They're trying to mess with, trying to mess with the finances. Because he's a prophet. All public collections and dues also go to the support of the temple and its domestic work. All. Right? All. All public collections. Because he's not just talking to the people who are in the temple. He's talking about the American citizens, which are all the other Aboriginal nations on this land, Cuba, Mexico, whatever, going down the line. Mm -hmm. Right? All the all the islands and all that, right? Mm -hmm. All there, right? Including everybody in it. All public collections and dues also go to the support of the temple and its domestic work. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't be a general law if people weren't stealing funds back then. And they're still stealing funds today. And nobody's not catching the pattern? Oh, forgot. They never told you about all this general law stuff that Nobu Ali laid down. They didn't pr put, present this information. 
Where? In the other temple? In, in anywhere. That's why people don't know. That's why people don't take Noble Drawley as serious as they should. Because they, they their perspective of the Moorish movement, Noble Drawley, Moorish Science Temple of America, is... And that's all they know about Moorish Science Temple of America. When, since 1913, he's putting out these things, telling these people, up with fallen humanity, go get your brothers and sisters, members and families and whatever like this, and take care of your wives and your children and show support to your wife and all this type of mm -hmm. stuff. And they didn't go out there and tell all these people who were downtrodden and, oh, I'm a slave and how am I going to... I can't do this because I'm a slave from Africa and I'm... What are you talking about? Y'all land right over there, you just dig that up, plant something right there and... It's your land. Okay, you don't want to do that? All right, come on, come back, come back, come back over. Because I don't know what they did to you on that plantation right there. But they did something to you on that plantation. You're saying come back over here to tell him to go back to, to the slave country. Go come back to nationality. Oh, I see. Right? Yeah. Just like we're doing, getting people to leave those plantations that they're on, those slave camps called whatever organization it is that's pretending to push some national perspective of something. Mm -hmm. And get back to what the foundation is. Right? And there's, there's not, we have a flag. Right? We have a flag that we could show anybody. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows what that flag is. Right. They'll tell you, hey, that's a Moroccan flag. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's Morocco. So we can fly that flag here. That's it. And and just like, just once again, saw another, saw another TV, right? When Todd was telling the story about when they went to the store and they saw his ring or something and they said, oh, you know, what are you? Like Moroccan, but from here. Right? Just, and, and Todd, so. just in a store, talking to somebody, mm -hmm. cashier at the store. Mm -hmm. And when Taj said that he's a Moroccan from here, the guy at the store said, Oh, Maghrib. And that was it. <laughs> right? Because it's not no secret. This is world history. No Jolly is connecting us to, to, to something that is. Yo, like everybody in the world knows about this, except the people on I, this I, on I this side that, that call themselves Negro, Black, Colored, all so these different stuff. To this whole situation that here people know, and yet we're still walking around deaf and blind to this. They don't want their profit. They want to listen to all these crazy people, right? And not listen to the prophet. If you can listen to the crazy guy, you, you can listen to the prophet, that's some right. words or that's something, right. read right. a page, that's something. Right. You don't just cast that away. That's listening right. to all these other guys, listening to reporters, listening to stupid people making songs, mm -hmm. listening to, 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 you know, commentators and, or what, or even like, whatever. All that crap you know what I mean? Things. Listening to all that. But you want to take a, just a page and overdraw Lee? A word or not? Because you got the funny hats and you guys say Muslim and Islam and I don't want nothing to do with Islam because of terrorists and like they did a number on you. And we're not even talking about Negro black colored people. We're talking about people who are conscious that you know they came yeah, into yeah. more science yeah. or whatever. They bumped into some wrong mores and then they just throw this thing away like yeah. like that was the perspective. No, you were on a slave plantation. Yeah. Except the reality. Some Moors enslaved you, right? Because you know Moors were the first slaves, so, yeah. we, you know, yeah. that's our shit. Like, we can, it ain't nothing to enslave somebody. That's how we do. Yeah. We can do that. Right? It's part of our nature. Yeah. There's nothing, there's nothing evil, you know what I mean? There's nothing negative or nothing like that, you know what I mean? It's just like, you, you know, you, you just might pick your nose, scratch your ass. Like, it's mm -hmm. not, you know... Stuff happened, right? So when when people when people don't realize, right, that they're getting played by somebody, 
who's actually supposed to be in their favor. Yeah. And, and not, not in their favor on some little social whatever level, in their favor on, on the grandest scale. Like when people come and they say, yeah, I proclaim my nationality. Um, so now do I have to take these and then send these papers to Social Security and, and get them to change whatever? That process is supposed to be done by the leadership. Funny, there, there's another one. Woe upon the, the one that scatters my flock. <laughs> right? These are the people yeah. right, that you're talking about, right. right? Right. Oh. The head of every temple must, by law, obey the word of the prophet. And if any head leader or head of any temple fails to obey these laws, embezzlement is his charge and is subject to enforcement by the law of the law by the grand body and the penalty may be a fine or removal from office or being placed under a very heavy restriction of the law the head of every temple must by law obey the word of the prophet and if any head leader or any head of any temple fails to obey these laws, embezzlement is his charge, and is subject to enforcement of the law by the grand body. And the penalty may be a fine or removal from office or being placed under very heavy restriction of the law. Uh, taking money and spending it. If I've given you money to go to go buy uh, apples, and you, and you, go, and you go buy drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to the point. Yeah. Um. All right, this is how much of a nation that we were, right? Temple tax necessary. Convention votes anonymously, tax paid monthly. Because of the fact that the expense of the operation of the temple is increasing so fast that it was found necessary to vote a tax to the prophet to carry on the work. This idea was concurred with by the Supreme Grand Council. This act is so arranged that it will not be a burden to any of the temples, but the prophet is very empathetic that it shall not be ignored. The expense of operation has heretofore been taken care with funds received from the manufacturing department. Mm. So, this is what this is what was going on in the 1913-1929, as far as Nobujuali is concerned. Manufacturing department, mm. and it was found that it was a burden on that department. Hence, the tax was necessary. This tax is 25 cents per month per capita. This will mean that the numerical strength of the temple will bear the proper share of the responsibility of the operation. This per, this per capita tax is intended to supply all members alike, governors and grand sheiks included. The governor or officer in charge of each temple will cause a report to be rendered to the Supreme Grand Business Manager of the Supreme Grand Council. 3140 Indiana Avenue, Chicago, which will specify and itemize the following number of adepts, number of members, number of new members taken in each month, or those who join after the rendition of the last report. 25 cents must accompany the name of each such members as the representation tax. The per capita tax collection begins November 1st, 1928. All concerned will save themselves will, will save themselves penalized if they render their reports promptly and specifically. Because otherwise it will necessitate a representative calling on such delinquent temples and auditing their books, which expense will be borne by the temple. All governors and other officers will be held responsible for the representation tax and report by order of the prophet. No. Always keep in mind and remember, Nobudrali brought us government. 
he brought us the concept of governing ourselves so we don't have to rely on these Europeans. Because the European food is just poison and, you know, and so... <laughs> right? Hold that thought, I have to sing the line now. Uh, it will take 50 years to find out what I brought you, and if you are not careful, 50 years after I'm gone, you won't know that I have been here. Mm. You won't know. You're you know saying the, the government, you're saying that uh, govern yourself so we didn't need to, it's all poison, right? You don't need them. We're, bil we're billion dollar spenders on sneakers and hair. Yeah. Like, billion dollar spenders. By the way, NOI got 5 million from Gaddafi to start black hair product stuff. Really? Yeah. Just wondering where that is. Because, you know, everybody that calls herself quote unquote black Muslim. Right? They're not doing anything because they were all out of the Moor Science Temple of America. They all came out of it? All of them. Because their foundation is Fard and Elijah Fool Bay. Who were members of the temple. So you're saying that there was a uh, corruption the cor and that's part of the corruption. People being in the temple and leaving and starting something else called yeah. the sovereignty movement of black people. And then every and then everybody jumping on that. That's what Nation Islam is. Ah. That's what so all these so called so organizations are. The cover it was a cover which people have been made to think of the religious movement. They just like you just read. They don't even know who Nobu is. Right. Why they know about Nobu Ali? Uh, ask, oh, ask, what, any, what ask anybody. Is, what you're saying is those two people took the Quran and is it on your phone? Quran. And Elijah. Elijah pulled it. Took, took, took the position of the prophet in a sense in, in body and then took, took the... And took, took the, the people took and the then people. went and did whatever it is that they did. And then sucked their finances. And many of those others did that too. And we talked about it being this magical sort of thing, this information, which basically is something to free us, but unfortunately for a lot of these people, what happens is they become corrupted, and then once they've gotten on that knowledge, they... But how, how do they become corrupted? They become corrupted because stupid people support them. They become corrupted because stupid people, people who have the prophet's laws right there and you lay down do you everything think, do you think they had those laws in front of them is my question it was in the newspaper sorry it was it, was, it was in the newspaper right. going all around the world because noble Ali wasn't just some guy in north carolina and then yeah. he went to new jersey yeah. and then he went to chicago yeah. and then he died yeah. he was international yeah. worldwide and like we were saying before, not just from our generation. Of course not. He transcends time. He has a message that is much more sort of uh, We're not telling nobody be no noble Jali worshipper. Right? I it's about I understanding what, what he brought. I sense what it is. We're about nationalizing, and the religion that, that he somewhat talks about is what is connected to that nationality. And it has to be. That's it. If you're going to say, I'm it's, it's, uh, and call a religion, you better have a nationality back in you. It's like saying, I'm English. You're going to then be a Christian. Right? You better have something back in you. You, well, that's, you, that's you, spirit you, part. Right? Like you, religion. Which is embodied in nationality. That's why it's a First Amendment right. Because that's what we lack when you look at the three fifths person, the religion and a, the religion and and a nationality. nationality. Which they're like this. They're boys. Part 
partners. Basically, not one without the other. If you, if you don't have that, then you're dead. Civil little mortals. And people that have been trustees of this information, wow. right, have put this to the side and have taken their own agenda and created mental slave camps right. based on organizations that are founded by some guy that has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with any type of nationhood in, on the planet anywhere in the world. That's why they all fail. But, but they're all funded, a million dollars, they have a big building or whatever, but they fail. But they're funded for 50 million, and the black guys are going to be able to get, you know, wherever, to do whatever, right? When, that's the enemy you're going to, the same enemy that you guys, how are you guys going to go to them? For like, you know, and, and you know, then people say, oh, well, they work for the enemy. Well, the Europeans are not my enemy. I just read the letter from the Europeans. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, two? yeah. Patrick dropped a big one. What? Dropped a big one. We can hear laughter. Wow. Yeah. Two pager. Two pager. Two pager. That's when the alarm started going off <laughs> when I was reading that. <laughs> really? Yeah. We try to play back. We try to play back. Right. Because remember, huh? remember, the, the world knows about what we're on. Morris isn't just something that we only know about and nobody else in the world knows. And then people who don't know about this, they say, oh, they're on something because they know metaphysics and they know all this other stuff. And you ask them who they are and they don't know. Like the world is, the world could block you out. They don't pay you any attention. Because you know? the, the key to it is nationality. And if you're in the Americas, the only nationality you can have around here is Moorish. That's why everybody's called American. So Italian, Al Moroccan, Chinese, Al Moroccan, Haitian, Al Moroccan. Realize, that's happened, what's going on. The corporations come in and put their and put and put their little jacket on it, and once you start telling yourself you got S got A, you're done. National. National. <laughs> you're done. Right. Right. Okay. I told everybody everything, and nobody, nobody wants to go. Nobody wants to to, to listen to what you say, right? Um, the industrious acts of the Muslim. The primitive colors alone were used, says Ford, by the Egyptians, Greeks, and Arabs in the early period of art, and they prevail in the Alhambra wherever the artist has been Arabic or Moorish. Right? Some are seen among the Moorish ruins, have been, have been there upwards of eight centuries. Industrious acts of Muslims. You know, all this stuff, all this stuff in the paper. All the stuff in the paper. Moorish leaders' historical message to America. We organized as the Moorish, science, the Moorish Temple of Science in the year 1925 and were legally incorporated as a civic organization under the laws of the state of Illinois November 29, 1926. The name Moorish Temple of Science changed to Moorish Science Temple of America in 1928 in accordance with the legal requirements of the Secretary of State. The object of our organization is to help in the great program of uplifting fallen humanity and teach those things necessary to make our members better citizens. Right. Still tying everything together. A national organization with a Rotarian complexion as it relates to branch temples became obvious with the increasing number of inquiries from men and women in different sections of the country concerning the purpose of the organization. So, people were coming from all over the country. Right? And he was making a report to the nation. So they know. 
what what this is, what it's about, the job that people have to do. If you see pheasants, you already know what they should be giving you something. They should be giving you something. If somebody in the fence and they pass by you straight, they don't tell you anything. What do you mean? They're not regular, doing their job. A regular Negro black colored thing? They're regular Negro black colored. If somebody has in their mind nationality and birthright, right. right? And they're taking the position of being a representative of their nation. Yeah, yeah trustee. That that there's individuals who they see every day that are part of this nation, but they're not telling them to get down with the nation. Right? They're telling them to come join this, you know, join the Morris Science Temple, you'll have... Somebody's going to have a misconcept, you tell them that. But, uh, but then, this is why Nobu Dwali said, you know, don't worry, keep the doors open and have the 16 secretaries or whatever, because when these people drop their, their plans that they got for you, or oh, they'll be coming running. <laughs> the coattails co co will be standing on end and all that. The coattails will be standing on end. Why? Because you have to get beaten. More is going to, are only going to learn at the point of a sword. Yeah. Right? Hard-headed, hard hard-headed, stiff-necked people who only learn at the point of a sword. Only, only learn at the point of the sword. Only, right? And why do they only learn at the point of the sword? Because they always put themselves in slavery. Be because, because I mean, I they put their, they consent to being in slavery, no, but, but then blame the slave master. But I think that's part of the karma because they first enslaved people. Well, I, but the slate's clean. Yeah, I agree at this point. Right? I agree. The slate's clean. I agree. Everybody got their little shots yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. So it's supposed to be even, even now. zero zero yeah. now. Yeah. No, I agree. Right? No 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 um final game for the whatever. Like everything's done. Yeah, no, I agree. Right? Everything's over. That's why once again, right? The European Sun wrote the letter. Okay. To to tell the more and people else out there that there's some of us out here that are actually down with what what you're talking about. Here's one for what you're talking about. If you're not careful, your own brothers will try to put you into slavery. Who's trying to enslave these people? The Europeans? No. People with fences on. Right? But like purposely. Yeah. Have 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 motive. Have motive to say that you're gonna rob somebody of of their birthright. Or put a price on it. When Nobu Ali said that it's free, not just here, but all over the world, it's here free. Go. Sister M. Lovell asked CG of Illinois said that the Holy Prophet said one day men are gonna be running so fast that their coattails will be standing straight out. You will be able to. Shoot dice on <laughs> They're going to be running. They're going to be running to get into the temple. The fast ones, the pre hold on. The, the last ones to make it into the temple will be the preachers. The <laughs> Europeans are going to be beating them on their heads, yeah. driving them, driving them in. <laughs> driving them in. Right. Of course, you know we have to read. <laughs> You know, we have to read to be proclaimed every meeting. <laughs> right? Nobody's only putting it out there for everybody to know. Islam. I'm glad to know that I have a few faithful Moors among you all. And I desire for them to know the truth and the divine truth. There is a host of jealousy about me and the movement now by the same people on our side of the nation that claim it was only a joke and unreal. You see them on YouTube today still. But now, since they have found out from the government officials and the nations of the earth that this is the only sole foundation that all Asiatics must depend upon for their earthly salvation as American citizens, they are working every scheme they can to disqualify me so they may take charge of the situation. Right? They, they're, they're taking charge of the situation. The situation is the Negro problem. 
the situation is these people who don't have a nationality that don't even know that these all the police shootings of black people and all that type of madness right there that's depopulation yeah that's get people out the way well unless they're towing the company line right he had a gun. He had a gun. Shot him in the face. I right? know, but as long as if, if all the niggers and blacks are doing what they should be doing, then we're okay, right? But but Negroes and blacks doing what they should be doing can't be can't be going on anymore because this is a technological time now. This is not slave labor time. Pick cotton. They got a machine to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so an, if you do, <laughs> right, you have to be above a beast nowadays. If you're not above a beast, you're going to be in somebody's burger. But unfortunately, the very nature of being that puts you in that place, doesn't it? Mubu Jawali told people about the higher and lower self since 1913. And that you need to pick one. And whichever one you pick is going to determine your fate. Right? And, and that's just other lessons that he brought that we didn't even get to today that these people are supposed to tell people and just give it to them here's one one questionnaire here's the quran you need to read those call me next week they don't call hey at least you know you gave them the stuff that they're supposed to have i have notified all these things to you long ago in the past it is it is through the faithful mores that attribute to the movement and uplifting funds the ones that paid their divine respect to me and the movement will be remembered. That is why I am calling upon all faithful Moors to increase their faithfulness to me, your prophet, and your divine Moorish movement. Your prophet and your divine Moorish movement. So if it's yours, what, what are you about to do with this? That's yours. That's all. That's all. Pick up and start using. There. It sitting there. Been protection. sitting there since 1913. Protection. Sitting there. Your protection and your weapon. And people are people have been convinced that. You know, um, the Morris Science Temple of America is some cult of black Muslims who don't think that they're U.S. citizens and whatever. That, those are, that has nothing to do with the faithful Morris and the active Morris and the Morris that know what this is about. This is about study. This is this is about know thyself. When you know thyself, you realize that you're a grand chief, you're a grand governor, you're a, you're everything. Yeah. So how come we're acting like Negroes and black colored people? Right? And being a more doesn't mean you know you have to have a pheasant, wear a turban and all that stupidness right there. Right. This is this is this is free. This is frequency. This is a state of mind. This is frequency. Oh, state, of state of mind. Because state of mind and your breathing will correct or throw off your frequency. Right. And. It's not for people to think that will you will forget more science temple of America and whatever, right? There are more science temples of America that are running legit, and if that's the case, people should be members of that because that is a regency, a council. Like, like like the prophet said, how you expect to get help when you're sick if you're not supporting the thing that is going to help you when you get sick? 
Oh, so so the, doesn't that mean that we're supposed to have some hospitals or something like that? Which is supposed to come from this same nucleus, right? Because every member is supposed to continue the uplifting acts. Every member did what they're supposed to do. Yeah. All, all, all the people who we knew that do whatever job that they knew how to do. Mm -hmm. And instead of going and working for European, they proclaim their nationality and work for the nation. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what it is. Right? Whatever they do. Whatever it is that they do. Right? Things will start happening. Like how people want to see them. You know? Because what is and what people perceive is two different things. But interestingly enough, what you want to happen, you can make happen. That's why Mubadwali gave us everything it takes to save a nation. Now take it and save yourself. So if we all have everything that it takes to save a nation, what are we worrying about what this guy has and how much stuff he has and he has the legit thing so we gotta go to him because he's legit when his track record for 80 years shows nothing nothing like nothing whatsoever to justify somebody saying yeah we'll support you know whatever whatever right and then people you know, like, in that power position, abuse that. Because these individuals remember that the name, the name Morris Science Temple of America isn't tainted. The name isn't tainted. It's the individuals behind that face. It's the guy behind the curtain. Not the curtain. But I think I also realized too, at the end of it, that it's also the indoctrination that we have faced and the training we've faced, which makes us unable, without know, certain efforts, to, to see beyond this, right? But I think even about our regency, about how people seem to just be expecting a magical answer. Yeah, because that's that's been the training. That's what I'm saying, though. Right, not realizing that it's about us picking up the plow and plowing our own field. They want the field to be plowed. And the second part of that being that somehow the fact that someone may be directing the way or opening the door, there is now a host of jealousy. Right. And and sort of a, an unwanting to, to be involved in to, this. To be involved. Right? Which is right. Which is a mimic to exactly what right. Exactly what was going on with him. Exactly. Right? But, you know, just like just like all the other prophets, you know, he paid the sacrifice. For the people. Paid the uh, sacrifice for the people. Right? The Morris Science Temple of America. Uh -huh. So there's a writing called Morris Science Temple of America. A writing? Yeah. Right? The Morris Science Temple of America was founded by the Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Aside from the fact that it is a legally organized religious corporation, it is building on human needs. Rotarian complexion, without saying Rotarian. Right? To this desirable end, in time, legitimate means will be found to dispense charity and provide for the mutual assistance of its members in times of distress to aid in the improvement of health and to encourage the ownership of better homes. We're not talking about no ghettos or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. To find employment for our members. To teach those fundamental principles which are desired for our civilization such as obedience to law, respect and loyalty to government, tolerance and unity. It is most earnestly hoped that the Morris Science Temple of America will not in any way be confused with any Back to Africa movement. Such is not important insofar as American citizens of our group colonizing Africa are concerned. We of the Morris Science Temple of America 
like countless other American citizens, know that we must live together here in America in harmony, friendship, and goodwill. Whatever our race and creed may be, it is only from a purely religious standpoint, it seems, at the same time, that we differ from a large number of our fellow, of our fellow Americans. We believe in and foster the Muslim religion. We believe in the principles of its teachings insofar that they can be adopted to American life. We feel that the Christian religion is all right for those who prefer it. In America, religious freedom is guaranteed to all under the Constitution. We are interested in freeing ourselves and our children from the greatest plight, economic slavery. We believe this can be best done by encouraging, patronizing, and establishing our own business enterprises and cultivating our own acres of land. Islam to brothers Diallo Sekou and all the Moors in Florida that deal with the Moorish farm. We welcome into our folds men and women of our group of all sections, all trades, occupations, and professions of sound mind and good character. We are friends and servants of humanity. We are dedicated to the purpose of elevating the moral, social, and economic status of our people. We have set about to do this through a wide and comprehensive program embodying the principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. So the, the, the noble prophet came to the Moors, told them that they're not Negro, black, colored, you're more. Proclaim your nationality. If you don't do anything, if you don't do anything, even you say, no, the more is bullshit. Just up in your back pocket, just make sure you, you know how to talk for L and B. Just make sure. Because you don't even know what's coming. And people, for example, Man at my work had a suspended license, um, tags, right, were expired, and no insurance, right? So he gets pulled over, you know, cop accident for all this stuff. Oh, well, all this is expired. He tells the officer, oh, um, well, you know, I just have to pay for you know this and you know I have a ticket on the gloves like whatever just go handle it come to court on the day we'll get all this thrown out or whatever right he goes to court and leaves with thousand dollar fine and had to give his license up for six months and he had everything that he paid everything and everything's up to date now the, the insurance slip was the wrong one in the car the other one was at home and right had everything legit right and he has a fine of thousand bucks it was two thousand but the judge said no i'll give you a break whatever right hit him with a thousand and took his license for six months and waiting more yeah right and yo he's not you know his his his, his two daughters they play ball in the states or whatever you know what i mean he's not no <laughs> right? What are you trying to say? You know what I mean? You know, he's so called, you know, made it guy. You know, he has, a, you know, occupation yeah. and you know, whatever. Yeah. Railroad. Wow. Right? Looking hard on them now, huh? Right? Yeah, Negro, it. black, color, they're, they're going to learn at the point of the sword. Yeah. And you don't want them to start using the sword to poke you. They're poking you with toothpicks now. You better have your nationality in your back pocket. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the nationality card and the nationality paperwork and the nationality whatever, sovereignty and all that is mental. Yeah. Just so all so you don't get caught going buying some papers and some cards from somebody yeah, without having up here first what that is. Right? It's all about having it up here. And and to verify that, just ask the people who don't have a nationality card. But they're sending writs, right? They're sending writs, and they're getting stuff 
zero out letters from people telling them you know how how much you know we made a mistake in our record and stuff like that you know we don't pursue you any further sister in michigan and what happened just having nationality up here ah. beat up the tax people ah. just with writs all right well, right because it's all about here yeah. just like the european all up here man said it in there in full life he's not he's not attaching himself to the to the corporate jurisdiction just because just because of how he's he's delivering what he knows just just because of how he's delivering what he knows right okay Because this is your stuff. This is yours. You can't tell people enough. Stop listening to people selling you stuff. This is yours. Once you study, you have it. And then that's it. And then you just exercise based on what you know. But where Nobu Ali comes in is that he took that idea and compacted it into an order so that so that it can be utilized properly and you don't get injured doing stuff by yourself which comes from a nation right but because the nation is seen to be you know topply turvy people don't want to get down with it but even if you don't get down with being part of the Moorish nation you're still indigenous to this land you still have a claim of Aboriginal you don't have to say but the issue more. Is, but the issue is you have to have a nationality. And like we're like like Durali said, they're gonna learn the point of a sword. You don't have to tell them that they gotta have a nationality anymore. Cause everybody else has one. Nobody in the world calls themselves colors or or well, whatever. Weirdly like, enough, there is one set of other people who right? rest the problems up in this place. Hmm? That's the white man. Quote unquote. Quote unquote. They're going to be looking at having some problems real soon. They got problems already. That's what I'm saying, though. They're the only other set of people who have taken on that mantle of a color, a supposed color. But but, but they still have a nationality. That yeah, they can play they can play color they can play color talking with us or whatever. But if it comes down to you yeah, know yeah. five five hundred years in prison or whatever, now all of a sudden they're, all of a sudden they're who their <laughs> mothers and forefathers were, right? All of a sudden, it clicks in. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah, no. I'm Italian. I'm yeah, Scottish. I'm, yeah, you know, I'm yeah, British yeah. or whatever. It's funny because when you ask you know? them, you ask them, you push them. Sooner or later, down the line, they've got they got someone in those hills, right? Right. So, Moorish Science Temple of America, organic. Deals with know thyself. And doesn't sell you anything. Put it like that, right? And when we say sell anything, we're talking about madness. Fifty bucks for a Quran or something like that, right? Don't fall for the madness, right? This stuff is yours. Organic more science temple. There, there are more science temple out there that are organic, right? They are out there. Take your time and seek them out. Because that's where the salvation, as far as unity, lies, right? Because that is is members, which is family, which is nation, within a broader perspective. All these guys selling stuff, saying that they're the supreme and they're the this and they're the that. Don't waste your time with those people, right? Because... That is the more Science Temple of America slave ships. And you don't want to get caught on those slave ships because you already know how slavery goes on. And it's not no whips and chains slavery going on. It's mental slavery right now. Right? Well, bureaucratic slavery. Because that's where, more, that's, cause that's where we're at right now. More call me and they tell me, we don't learn what you're talking about in our temple. What you're talking about what what 
Nature of Bay is talking about, what Tosh Street Bay is talking about, what a Sears talking about, what a Lean Bay is talking about. We don't learn that in, in the temple. Right? And they have a right to, you know, question something. Well, right? Like you said, there's only the truth and everything else is not, right? So either you're learning the truth or you're learning not. So if you live, and the if only you're in their temple and you're not learning the truth, leave they have a right from to there and go find somebody who's yeah. dropping the truth. So you can know what this is, because this is real. You don't have to listen to me. You just go do research on the Moors. Forget the negative. Look at some positive stuff that the Moors did in history. Right? So you can get a perspective of how involved you are or how in uninvolved you've been. Because this is going to go on and continue to go on whether you get down with it or not. And everybody who's down with it, Islam, you know what I mean? The Moors are back. We're here. We're not going anywhere. Right? Islam to Moors who have Zulu Nation, more science temples, and, and hip-hop more science temples, and everybody who's taking what Nobu Jwali brought and doing something with it, not just sitting down with this like kings of the castle right actually taking this and doing something with it not trying to rape people with it not trying to block them off from learning other information with it giving giving it to them like it like it belongs to them so they can take it serious so we could start you know what i mean getting back to what we're what we're supposed to be right you know, and that has nothing to do with dressing and having buildings and, and none of that, right? It's all about getting on that mind frame. That nationality is the order of the day. Nationality is the order of the day. Everybody has one, except the Negro, Black, Colored, African, whatever they call themselves. Some of them are intelligent and are coming home. Some of them are staying slaves. I'm telling you. Get off all those slave ships that you're on. Organizations that are for the so-called liberation of your people, our people. Proclaim your nationality and then go back to those organizations with a new mindset. And nationalize all those organizations. And get all of them teaching constitutional principles. Because that's the standard. Not because somebody feels like doing that. And when we start doing that, then we get somewhere as, as a people. Stop the Negro black colored BS and we'll start getting somewhere as a people. You know, yeah. Right? Humble. You know, yeah, quite. Quite. And right, so 917, 930, blog talk, MHHS, eyes wide open. Remember? We're going to be studying, personally, right, the um, rvbaypublications.com, go there, stay there for a year, and you'll be straight. You'll be straight, because trust me, sister, got these tax people off her back with a writ from there, and all she did was apply her to it and manifested something out of it, right? You don't belong to no temple or nothing like that, right? Knows what, knows what this is, knows, know thyself, Islam, myself, law, master. Mm -hmm. Let's hit up the prayer and get ready for blog talk, 10 minutes I got. <laughs> no, <I'm crazy>. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, it could be a large group. Oh, yeah, yeah.
Father, the left two on the right, a lot of Father of the universe, a lot of Father of the universe, Father of love, Father of love, truth, truth, peace, peace, freedom, freedom, and justice. And justice. Allah is my protector, Allah is my protector, my guide, my guide, and my salvation. And my salvation. By night, by night, and by day, and by day, we serve the Holy Prophet, the Holy Prophet, the Noble Jawali, Islam. Islam to all the Moors online. Sorry, I, the the alarm threw me off, and I didn't even open the chat, and I seen people had questions and stuff. So next week, what? We'll, uh, <laughs> How long was the alarm? We'll set up. Um, I don't know about ten minutes. Yeah, but we'll set up. Islam Moors, peace and no tip.